Welcome back to more Pharaoh, a new era. We're in the Old Kingdom now. Egypt rises to unprecedented might, wealth, and glory during the Old Kingdom. Yet even as incredible new monuments rise throughout the Nile Valley, seers make disturbing predictions about the fate of the two lands. Saqqara, our first pyramid, or the first pyramid. Medium Step Pyramid is the monument we need to build today. We also need to have a population of 3,500, Prosperity of 15, Monument Rating of 13, and Kingdom Rating of 50. In we go. The accession of Pharaoh Djoza to the throne of Egypt has ushered in a new era of wisdom, learning, and artistic achievement. A royal cemetery is to be established at Saqqara to serve as the eternal resting place for nobles such as Hezre and Cabo Saqqar, Pharaoh's trusted courtiers. But this site shall also contain a monument the like of which the world has never seen before. I, the Pharaoh's royal vizier, Imhotep, have conceived a new form of sacred tomb for Pharaoh. Unlike the low mud brick mastabas of prior Pharaohs, this tomb shall rise toward the heavens as if it were comprised of several mastabas placed one on top of the other. And what's more, this stepped pyramid shall be constructed entirely of stone that it may endure the passage of the eons. Deep within, a sarcophagus of solid granite shall hold Pharaoh's body for his eternal rest. Priests at the necropolis of Abjadu have perfected the art of using linen to embalm the dead, thus opening the door to everlasting life to all Egyptians. Our trading post at the Salima Oasis still thrives, and from there you may import ebony from Africa. Pharaoh has given you a generous supply of cash to get started on this project. Do not let him down. Okay. Right, just remember, Imhotep, don't go messing around with an ux and a moon, because otherwise Rick O'Connell will have to come and put you in your place in about 2,000 years' time. Wait, no, more than that. It's 2,600 BC. For, for three and a bit thousand. When, when, when was that? When was it set? Like nine, 19, early 1900s? First mummy film? Many thousands of years. 1932 was when it was set. Thank you. Yeah. Don't go messing with mummies is uh is the main thing here. Imhotep, don't yeah, don't don't go messing with Pharaoh's mistress. Anyway, so yeah, 3500, 15 prosperity, 13 monument rating. I'm kind of surprised that a medium step pyramid only gives a 13 monument rating. Would have thought it'd be a bit higher, but I guess compared to some of the pyramids you can build in this game, it's small fry. But it's our first pyramid at long last. No more master bars. It's pyramid time and kingdom rating of 50. And we get meadow farming and irrigation now. Some land is fertile enough for farming, even though it's not situated on the floodplain. You can identify such meadow areas by their multicolor plant growth. Some farms planted on meadows can produce more than one harvest per year, uh, though the yield is usually somewhat less than that of a floodplain farm. Employ irrigation to increase the fertility of any farmland. Uh, irrigation ditches on the floodplain can be connected directly to the Nile, but you'll need a water lift to elevate water onto dry land. Water lifts can be built on the edge of the floodplain or on the coast where you raise the water directly from the river up to the dry land. Connect an irrigation ditch to the back of a water lift to bring irrigation water to inland farms. Splendid. Now, we have actually had a go at this mission before and I kind of just messed around with some different layouts and stuff. So I have a, I have a cunning plan, Baldrick, as to where I want to situate stuff. Um, I want this here. What I'm actually thinking is I'm going to Tweak this bit of Kingdom Road because I want this here. If I set my palace back there long enough, I should be able to have two long stretches. In fact, I can. Uh, can I have it? Can I have it there? One bit there? No, I probably. I probably do need to have it back about there. Actually, it's long enough because then we'll have the festival square in the middle. Just going to see where I can place a... Well, I can place that there. Cool. So yeah, I'm going to just destroy this bit. We'll rebuild that in a little bit. Thanks. Thanks, Pharaoh, for all the cash. Yeah, so I'm going to just set you out...
two, three, four. We normally have it five. Only done four now. Gives me a long enough bit there. So if I come down to about here for the first housing area, then we do. I need to have it come a bit further down. Then we have the festival square and then we have another housing bit there. The reason I wanted to do it in between these two bits of grass was that then I could then connect water up to it. Because when I tried this um, in an earlier stream, I did it down and then to the right and it didn't quite connect up nicely. Yeah, so I want it there. Uh, uh, this one will probably be a little bit smaller, but that's okay. Okay, I can do it up a bit higher. Good thing I've got plenty of cash. And also on this map, I'll show you guys around it in a minute. But there is some gold. So that's good. So if I do that, then we can do this, 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 and this for the moment. And then we will have... Like so. And... It's going to be a smaller area down here, but that's fine. Can you build? You can put houses on that, can't you? Yeah, so I can do it all the way to there. Nice. There we go. Yeah, that one is a bit longer, but that's okay. It's all right. Um, right, yeah. So, Pharaoh's Palace. I'm going to put you... There. Uh, but having it at five means that it, there is a bit of a gap. That's fine because I can put some stuff on that. This all right. And then so we'll have the... We can still have the Kingdom Road. Now we had it before, but... Do that for now. I need to do that, 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 and that. And they can wander around. Beautiful. So, yeah, there's gold all the way along the top. There's stone. Can we actually, yeah, we can get plainstone quarry. Beautiful. So we can mine loads of stone. Large, large map, I guess. I feel like maybe we build the pyramid up here behind the palace. That'd be kind of cool. And then, yeah, meadows. We can get lots of pomegranate all over here. I need to set that up probably. We'll start with hunting lodges, though. Um, I was thinking, do I want... Oh, wait, hang on. I need to put a... I like putting a pavilion right through the middle of this bit. So let me just place all my opening bits and pieces that I need to do. <laughs> Yeah, I could just do that, that, and that. Have those three up there. Then have a bazaar. Then slap in the pocket fairy. We need a physician. A dentist. Then I'm going to need to do that there. Slap in the pavilion. We'll slap it in there. And then we've got the gods. And it's a Ptah that is the patron of this one. So we better make sure we have a temple to him in here. Can't fit a raw one in. I'm going to have to pop you down here. Maybe I'll build these both up at the same time. I mean, surely as long as they've got temples, do so they care if no one's worshipping them? They probably care. Let's do a double setup then.
Beautiful. I can fit in some entertainment here, actually. Get some booths in there. Delete some other bits. Actually, if I moved, if I moved this temple over one, who was that? That's Bast. Oh, so that's Ra. If I move Ra's temple there, then I can fit in two booths. I don't know if we'll need more entertainment than that, but. We'll see. Right. Um, let's get food done from this one. I'm going to move it in a little bit because we may well have stone being produced here. We're also going to want a road wiggling on up. To all the gold up here. Slap a few gold mines down before I run out of money. Yeah, I know. Chill out. Little slum houses over here. You'll need a physician as well. <laughs> Otherwise, you just get all sick and dying, which is a bit depressing, really. You get a bit of the deads, which ain't great. I want to remove that actually. Hmm. Have the granary there, and let's up a load of hunting lodges. Uh, let's see what happens. Welcome to my city. You don't get into debt, yeah. Uh, we'll set up pomegranate farms next. Although for that, I need to set up the irrigation and pathways first before I start placing down farms. Otherwise, we run into some issues. And we can't get clay here, but we can produce pots. So we want to try and import clay because it will be way cheaper. Yeah, to import 38, whereas pottery is 140. So we'll import some clay. Get that done, but we'll just let everybody come on in for a little bit first. Settle on up. Pharaoh is good today. How are, how are you? Oh, yeah, we, you're right. We will need some architect posts over here. You're right. Just so they're happy and not worrying about diseases. Do all of that. And then if we slap that there.
just wander around this little bit. I'm going to be nice and I'm even going to give him a well. Might make a little village over here. But I've just slapped a few houses down. I'm just being nice. No one can ever say I'm not a benevolent pharaoh. In your camp. How 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 do the gods feel? Okay at the moment. Blessing from Ra, small blessing from Bast. Let's have a common festival for Ptah. There we go. Hunters are working. Is it pause? Have we got people up over here yet? Yes. You don't need to wander more than that, guys. Just, just saying. Yeah, start producing some gold. Oh yeah, someone was asking, is this the original or is this the is this a remake? Uh, so yeah, this is a, a remake of the of the original game. Yeah, absolute classic. Uh, what are the poles? I little posts I keep playing. They're roadblocks. So it stops basically the kind of service industries of the architect, um, police, fire marshal from wandering too far and then not being able to adequately provide those services for the systems around them. Because if they have to travel too far, it'll make these houses constantly devolve, evolve as and when they, they get access uh, back restored to those services. So you want to keep them in kind of self-contained groups so they don't constantly evolve a tier and then devolve when they haven't been visited for too long to keep a constant amount. Can they gain meat? We can eventually, I think, export that as well. Yeah, these aren't going to evolve because uh, they need more food. Oh, there we go. They're getting some food. Uh, you guys are going to want the area to improve and to get pottery. I'm going to set up a nice little potter's bit over here. Kind of separate industrial zones for pottery. And if I put off a road, if I put a storage yard there, then put a road along there, I can have the potters the other side of it. Set none and then have just... Play. So if that one says get all to that one, so they'll all just go there. Actually, I don't even get all. I can just say accept all to that one if it's not accepting anything else. And then we just have the potters all off that one, and then we can have two that accept pottery. Here they come. Come on, delivery boys. Supply everybody else. We're going to need a lot more food. What can we export from here? I think it's only the we have to Im we have to basically import raw materials, create. God, I'm getting some blessings. Yeah, we have to import some raw materials and then export stuff. So anywhere we can import gems from and then export jewelry. That's how we're gonna make our money here. Um, let's see what are gems rated at. 120 to import them and jewelry is 310 to export. So that would work quite well. Importing gems and exporting jewelry. Oh yeah, I blocked it off, didn't I? No one can accept these good. I'm not oh wait, hang on. No one's working there. <laughs> Just do that. That's why there wasn't anyone there. Now there's people working there. There we go. Do 
that last time. Need to leave that bit open, but that's, that's still a reasonable trek for them to walk around. I mean, to be fair, I could solve it by just moving the post back there a little bit. And then they'd have access to it. Although, surely they have access to Palace from the front. Oh, no, it's because they're... Their point's there. That's why. That's fine. Right, I am going to throw in a... a juggler school can go there. Conservatory and a dance school. Okay, got gold coming in. They'll now entertain the people over here. And there's another way that we can rapidly improve desirability. Plaza time. Everyone loves it when we make it all look fancy on the roads. Plazas. There we go. Instant upgrade. We can also put some gardens and stuff down in a bit. need more more food supply oh hello hello Solid supply game meat. I'm about to run out of money though. Um, can, we can export some game meat, I think. That none. So that game meat can go there as well. I don't know. Will they split it between the granaries and that one? What I might do is say accept none and accept none. To see if they start putting some in this one. Then I can definitely trade, yeah, buys game meat, 350 for a water one. Ah, you guys sell clay. So until I've got a little bit more gold, so I need to set up a docks. Which I'll probably have come in from there. Or maybe we even have the docks come in there. Next Actoria video should be on Sunday. Oh yeah, have some have some game meat deliver done.
How does that pyramid look as well? Oh, hello, yeah. Right behind would look sick. City in the shadow of a great pyramid. I hope you have a bit of time to do some... Um... Oh, thanks for the pomegranate. Gift from a neighbor. Lovely. Yeah, we'll hopefully have enough time to do at least an hour or so of, of Factorio today. Oh, is the meat going to come here now? Yes, beautiful. So that means I can set up trade for that to go. I just need to get a bit more gold coming in. We can get the free gold that we get afterwards. I just sometimes like to see how long it is before I end up using that. Increased trading. Nice. They'll give me even more wood. Wait for this gold to come on in. Nice. Right. Okay. Let's go to here. Water trade route. Confirm. They'll buy 1,500. Dock is 100 gold. Kingdom standing rises. Lovely. Rathpatar. Uh oh. I'm glad you destroyed the one that had nothing in it. Rather than the one that had all the meat in it. That would have been that would have sucked. That's not it's not enough terrain there to put a dock there. I was hoping I could just set one up here and have it go straight in. But okay, we're gonna have to go with my plan of having one down here instead. the uh yeah out of money that's fine thanks always don't have to worry about that anymore you've got all the meat so what i actually want to do is put a storage yard here which now says uh accept none and then get all and then empty all the game meat from here and then we'll get rid of that one so then all the game meat goes down here and then we start exporting it. Um, in fact, we can start exporting it now and get some more income. Game meat exportable. Exporting when over, let's say, a thousand, which it will always be at this rate. What should we getting for that? 34 to export. Ugh, not great, but it'll do. Yeah, here we go. I was taking all my meat down here. Lovely. I am going to need services, though. <coughs> Do for now. Give them the basics. Right, now we've got more gold. Let's really get more gold. Thanks, thanks for destroying that one I just placed. Right. Clearly, he's a bit pissy. So, I'm going to throw in some shrines. So that you guys don't get too upset. I'll slap in a shrine to each of you as well. I 
have a festival, please. Hey, trader, did you... You bought some meat. Noise. Right, yeah, we need pottery now. So we need to start doing clay, which is what we were going to do over here. Before Ptar decided to be a bit of a douche. Except all the clay there, and then we'd have a load of potters. But I'm going to set up um, importing that first. Clay, 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 clay. Uh, we can export. We don't have an importable trade route yet set up. Um... We do from here. Noise. Noise. That one is just accepting the game meat. It's not saying get all and change that to accept all. So it should go there. Lavish festival. Bast is pretty pissed. Start getting some pomegranate stuff going. Send me all the gold. sending gold this way. Yeah, that's fine. Bring me gold. Hey, Nash Wave. Happy Friday to you too. You guys all enjoying Pharaoh today? Yep, so. I have to go clear across the city with these goods. New supply of food. It'll take all day. Yeah. I mean, just because it's a long way for them to go there to get it. I guess I could have a granary nearby, couldn't I? That would help out. Because it's not right on top of uh, stuff. They'll get their. Well, to be fair, once I have multiple sources of food, they'll be alright. Start importing clear. Import to maintain about a thousand clay. And then we're going to start looking at pomegranate and irrigation. So we need to do the water lift first, and then we need to have a path accessible to it all. So if we have a ditch. Can I have the ditch running there for a few farms and then do pomegranate, pomegranate, pomegranate. Then it's going to need a road to service them out there. Then we have more farms and then more irrigation on the other side of that. Beautiful. Use this game, what's it like? Um, it's a really fun classic city builder. Um, absolutely loved the original. I sunk many hours into it. I was never very good at it, uh, as I'm still not now. But this is a really nice nostalgia hit for me, to be honest. Um, just loving playing this again after all these years. It's great. Lots of fun. Very satisfying. There's a few bugs about, but overall, it's uh. It's grand. Right, let's do another water lift. Um, I'm thinking if I do... Be careful about my placement. But I'm assuming I can have multiple one service from a single water lift. So if I do that, and then irrigation... Okay, so my... Farms need to go here, and then there needs to be a ditch behind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fine. So, farm there. So they've got the road for people to access them. 
Then they need an irrigation ditch. All the way along. Then they'll have pomegranate farms. And they'll need a road. And some people. Throw in some services for them, mainly so that things don't burn down. And everyone doesn't get too sick. And that should be fine. Get more people coming. Beautiful. What are you buying? You're giving us clay. Nice. Uh, the pump needs road access. Yeah, crap. Forgot about that again. Ah, son, of a, son of a beach. Right, this one will work. But not that one. Unless I... No, can't do that. Ah, damn it. I did this yesterday as well. Right, that'll now work. Oh, there we go. He'll still get three. Don't know how much irrigation that one's going to benefit from. I mean, it's just touching it. That'll work now. Beautiful. Yep, these were upgrading. They're slowly but surely getting a supply of food. Let's start some pottery. Actually, let's see, let me check the gods. Ah, uh, best. <sighs> Meanwhile, Roll's just here chilling, going, Yep, I'm fine. I love the NPC logic. Yeah, I couldn't possibly go to work. storage yard to accept nothing but pottery except all just thinking how much was pottery worth um exports 105 so we can make a bit of profit on that actually i don't know if it is anywhere actually though that will buy pottery might just be keeping it all for ourselves which is fine no, they'll buy. They'll buy pottery. They'll give me gems. Loads of pomegranate incoming. Love some pomegranate, actually. Lavish festival. I wish the animation for that was in. I missed that. So we've each taken 200 units of clay, so we should put in, to balance out from what we're importing, we should have one more potter. Needs uh, additional workers. Yeah, that's fine. We'll be upgrading these places soon and getting more people in. Blessing from Bast. Thank you. We're waiting for some cargo to be delivered. Oh, look at everyone coming to this glorious city of mine. There we go. Everything is upgraded there. All those houses upgraded. They're just waiting now. Beautiful. Oh, look at, all the, look at all the glorious pomegranate. Can, that's the question. Can we export pomegranate? No. But we can... Boy, oh boy, can we make a, a butt ton of it. I'm just going to have this one. So accept none and then accept all pom pomegranate. Because, uh, yeah. I don't know if we're going to need all of these filled up. Um, just because I think we've built up a pretty substantial amount there. A 
All those houses have upgraded, so yeah, more people are coming in. Three additional workers. There'll be more soon. Oh, we're about to run into debt, though. Thankfully, we've got some shipments of gold arriving. Got a lot of game meat ready to trade. What are you here for? can't wait to trade my supplies. Um, you're here to sell me clay. Are you here well, to... We're waiting for some cargo to be delivered to our ship. Okay. Meat? Ah, there we go. Dead. I love the art of the deal. You're I buying game meat. Okay, so we should buy. make... We should suddenly make a nice chunk of money here. Because this one's coming to get the meats. Do we have an entertainment district yet? Yeah. Uh, entertainment's all up here. You want to have it as far away from your housing as possible so that they, they have to walk all the way down through. These guys have all just upgraded. They need beer now. You also want some entertainment. Um, I mean, you've, you've got some entertainment. I I don't know how I'd do the pavilion off here, to be honest. Uh, I might actually be able to do... No, because you need you need a clear line away from it, like a bandstand. You need um, like that. Pretty short to be able to do. Oh, I could fit it in there. Can that can it the same be said for the pavilion? No, a bandstand could go in. We're in debt. Yeah, you know what? Do it. Doesn't have to make sense. That should please everyone's requirement for entertainment. We're waiting for some cargo to be delivered to our ship. I need to find more place where I can sell my meat to. Not something I thought I'd say on a Friday. I think there's only one place that wants to buy my meat though. And I've <laughs> I've already maxed out that. 1,500 is all they want to buy. Um, that's fine. So if they're getting it there, it'll fill up some of these other ones. Or it'll just sit there. Oh, here comes the pomegranate harvest. Go clear across the city with these goods. It's going to be big. It'll take all day. Bought some meat. That's fine. Gives a little bit of money. How much pottery do we have? Do da nine hundred. Let's up my clay. I'm probably not going to get enough to export. Although they only need like seven or eight pots, they're probably satisfied fairly quickly. I mean, how quickly do you go through pottery? Or once you've got it, is that it? I think I could probably start taxing people as well. I think it's time for a tax collector to get involved. Slap one in there. And slip one in there. Bring me bring me coin from the citizens. If you please. Persian king um, Cambyses II had his army strapped cats to their shields in combat uh, to combat the Egyptians because of the sacredness of the animal out of fear of being struck down by the gods for harming uh, the Egyptians fled. When when was this? How did you strap a cat to a <laughs> great difficulty, I imagine? <laughs> I thought that's an easy, uh, an easy thing to achieve. That's something to definitely put on the CV though, isn't it? Strapped cat to shield didn't get completely mauled to death. Yeah, I think I'm gonna export some pots. Get some more coin. Oh no wait, I don't have the export route set up yet. Apart from speech, just to build up a little bit of coin.
Burial. Oh, we need burial provisions as well. I forgot about that. Ah, there we go. That's where we need to send it. I always wondered where that would be. Yeah, I'm in debt now. That's fine. Savings are 40, so I could give it to the city. Thanks. <laughs> Empty my savings. Give it into the city to build it up again. Happy days. Right, I think we're going to go and find that trade route. Is it this one for pottery? Yeah, boom. And trade route, pottery. So I'm imagining I'm building up a decent bit. Yeah. So go to commerce and uh, export went over 300 because we really don't need that much ourselves. Ever thought you got too many pomegranate farms? Nope. <laughs> Definitely not. Never enough. Never, never. Need to build up some gold. Egyptian, the, the cats on shields against Egyptians was 525 BC. Oh, okay. Sandstorms, merchants went. Oh, great. Gold mine caves in. Oh, no. We'll build another. I mean, what's the architect doing? Come on. Right, what do you guys need next? You need beer. Uh, do we have a brewery? We do. So we need barley imported. Barley is 48 import. Um, and we can export the beer for 140. So we can kind of do the same we're doing with the pots right now. So yeah, let's import to maintain a thousand. And this is going to be done. Uh, when we're going to do it. Yeah, and you know what? I'm just going to put the brewers next to this. Be five of them again. You accept all the barley, and you accept all the beer. I am also going to... Because I'm a bit worried about fire. Normally in industrial zones. I'm just going to put another architect's post. And a fire marshal. Bring me barley. I also accept beer. I think you're waiting to be unloaded, aren't you? Yeah, there we go. You guys got the barley. Should probably have another docks actually to help with this stuff. Actually, can't have. Uh, <laughs> don't have room for another one. I can get one there. I could, I could have got one here, but now I've built the bandstand, so I can't. The only other way would be to have one here and then have to little ferries take it across. Seems everywhere people will work for less. Kingdom pays 26. 
I will pay 27. Mwahaha. Oh, hello. We've clearly got some beer in. Because the apartments are here. You need a local magistrate as your next thing. Okay. Ah. Should have made that one like one tile bigger. That tar. Is he? How pissed is he? I feel like he's pissed again. Yeah. You're probably not going to be happy if I get rid of your temple. But, but, but. Don't worry. I have a cunning plan. Ish. Don't have a cunning plan. What I'm going to do is just slap a load. I'm going to put, put one of the uh, temple over the various locations where we've got little work camps for everyone. These guys are going to complain about no religion, aren't they? Oh, they've got access to the shrines. Hopefully that's enough. Might not be enough. We'll see. We're about to find out. It's not a problem. They're okay with it. Don't worry, BMK. You can be you can be merciless there. Ban them. I did just destroy a temple, yes. But I placed, like, three more in its place. You need a scribe school or a library. Oh, hang on. Ah, uh, yeah. Religious facility hit. Oh, uh, no. Okay, yeah, it was a bad thing. It was a bad thing. It was a bad thing. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. It's okay, though. It's okay. Nobody panic. Actually, what I've learned is get rid of that, get rid of that, and pop one there. Yep, they're going to come back up real swiftly. And now I've opened up that road there. They're still going to service everything. Oh, God, look at these lovely apartments. Spacious apartments. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. -mm. Got a lot of clay. I feel like we need a few more potters. Harry Potter. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get rid of those two. And I'm going to put another road behind. Uh, what I'm going to do is put those services instead here and here. And then... I'm going to slap another potter. Minor blessing. Good. Yeah, I'm going to slow things down a bit because it's getting a bit hectic. Nice. You guys are all good. You need magistrate courthouse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Funny you should request that when there is no space for one. But I can probably sort that out. Uh, oh, uh, you can go there and there, which means I just need to go pop that there. And then get rid of that. Pop that there. And get rid of that. And then you'll have access to it. Splendid. Splendid! Actually, I could have put like a temple there and then did, did the same thing there. It would have been okay. I think the gods might be happy for once. Yay! Praise be the gods. So what do I what do I need for this? Um, I'm assuming a crap ton. Oh, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need wood, aren't I, for the the tears of it? 
So I need wood and then I need a lot of stone. We should probably set up a load of stone mining operations. I mean, I can, I can plot this here, can't I? And then it will tell me what I need, right? Nope. Carpenter's Guild and Stonemason's Guild. Except none. Except plain stone. Except all there. Except none. Except plain stone there. Except none. Except plain stone there and except none save for all the wood and then I need to import some wood I only export it right now it is expensive to import mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we can do that's fine I can import the gems though and then jewelry oh, God, they, oh no that's terrible I was looking at import rates for gems and then jewelry is only 150 so we're not going to make a huge amount of that <sighs> that sucks what about reeds and papyrus Ooh, uh 31 oh yeah that's good okay uh, can we actually do that though can we make papyrus we can beautiful this is fine So, we are going to want to go crazy with reeds and papyrus. Except none but all the reeds and except none save for all the papyrus. And then we're going to need to get some reeds and papyrus in there. Um, so, let's get papyrus maker. I'm also going to plop in here these as well. I think you might need some uh, some houses up here as well. doing that we will then need to at least make sure we put in that for crime and that for health Here, I'm going to put in work camps, donations, guild, carpenters, guild. <laughs> Got enough clay? No employees. More people are coming to the city. Wunderbar. Evolve soon. Woeful health provision does not access to mortician, but physician access. Okay, no, that's, that's fine. So I was thinking about upgrading if it could have access to a mortician. Which I could slap in over here. I we'll need some linen. A weaver. Linen out of flax. Yeah. Back to the overseer. How expensive is the flax? 54. Linen is 210 and we can export that that would actually be a reasonable one as well 
Okay. Um, did I ever set the reads up? No, that's why that's not doing anything. Import reads to maintain a thousand. And then we will export when over 400. Keeps a little bit of local stuff here. Uh, we also need to put in a scribe school there. Put a scribe school there. It can have road access here. Happy days. You guys literally just need, need that. I might have to get rid of this because I really need the docks. I need another docks to help with trading import. Well, I mean, it's managing okay. It's just a bit of a bottleneck there. Unless, could we make a bridge? Aha. Uh -huh. Everything is fine then. Because now we can have another dock. Beautiful. That surely the they live close enough the other side of the bridge. Is that is that not okay? You'd like to think it's close enough, right? Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. That will help. Oh, I like that as well. Bridge across there. How do the ships get through? I don't think we thought this bridge through, guys. Do we, like, I can't see it opening. <laughs> Drawbridge, eh? <laughs> I mean, let's hope. Oh god, there's no meat here anymore. All the meat goes down here now. Or is it just nowhere to put the put that right? You know what I'm going to say is uh, uh, I'm going to say that one doesn't accept any pomegranate anymore, and nor does that one. Empty out your pomegranate. So there's room for meat. Yeah, put the pomegranate on here, guys. Then the meat can come in. How many gods looking? Yep, good. Right, time to start some planes quarry production. Oh, you need road access, does it now? Funny that. I'm working on it, all right? God, oh, I haven't just got to that bit yet. So impatient. All stone needed, my lord. I'm going to go ham on this because I'm assuming we need a rather large amount of stone. place to live. <laughs> and then we need stonemason skill. Like, okay, just loads of them. How many squares do they take up? Two. Nice. 
we need to import some wood. Could we please import the wood? Import to maintain. Oh god, it's gonna be expensive. Let's go for two thousand wood at a time, though. Ugh. Have we got any papyrus? Uh, the reeds are just coming. Finally, the first shipment. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, these guys could do with some roads. This is true. The roads for them would be nice. Not central, but I mean, it's very much central. Move that roadblock there. Move that roadblock there. And get rid of that one. Welcome to your new squalid, I mean, your wonderful uh, stone quarry views. Thank, thanks for working on this project, guys. It's really, it's really rather important to me. I need more workers. Okay. Squalid living conditions. Here we come. You are going to want a physician. It'll do. We're going to need some here, actually, as well. <laughs> Otherwise, there's no one manning them. Oh, that stone takes up a lot of space, doesn't it? The desirability of the area to improve. Yeah, it can be done. Here we go. Right, I think time to start working on this pyramid. We are going to need a work camp. Go, go. Disease doth strike. Next room for 12. Yeah, more people should be coming. We up. Going to increase our wages a little bit to make it a little bit more appealing here. Still, some more families coming. You have a limited amount of time to get everything built. Um, I don't know if there are any limited time missions actually uh, in this. 
I don't think so. So I'm going to say no. Can't export the pomegranates, unfortunately. What I might do, though, is actually get rid of a load of them. Because we just, yeah, don't need that much pomegranate. We have so much pomegranate. More trees having a detrimental. So you want ser you want it the service provided, but you don't want to be super close to it. I see how it is. I think it's time to look to see about exporting some beer. Sport went over a thousand. It's always good to keep plenty of beer around. Check in with those gods again. Patar's displeased, so let's make sure we keep him happy. Grand festival. some big old gardens down. Everyone loves living near big gardens. You're actually devolving. You've got access to the courthouse, don't you? Yeah, you do. You also have ac you should have access to that. space to do it. Ah. Right, yeah, so we've been it's limited now. But if it wanted to, space resident. No. That's an apartment. Oh no, it needs linen now. That has gone up. Right, yeah, slap a load of nice looking gardens here as well. That should keep this lot all happy. And we need some linen. That was what we were going to do next. Got some shrines. Uh, I think they're happy for shrines. The gardens seem to have a better effect. More people are indeed coming to the castle there, so that's fine. Too little entertainment. I mean, the linen will hopefully tip it over the edge. You don't have a huge amount of entertainment. I think you actually need another juggler's school. There's not enough of them. Yeah, deliver. Slowly working. Let's just need more more workers. Might need to build a whole new section here, actually. Similar to what I've done there, just to provide enough. For all the wants and needs, everyone.
five times speed it. More people coming, mate. Okay. Linen. Right, so for that it was flax, wasn't it? Except all the flax. all the linen. And I just need to import some flex. Doing their best. How are we doing on pomegranate these days? Still got a butt ton of it. in and sandstorm so no trade once we get linen hopefully that will solve Issues, we got the weavers going, so yeah, it's fine. Hopefully, it should all resolve itself without me needing to build extra districts for lower income stuff. No military need for this one, yeah. No, I don't even need we don't even have the military um, icon here to build military stuff, so that's good. There's just no military involved in this one, which is fine. Oh, wait, hang on, I just seen temple complex to Patar. Yas, please. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yas. workers live nearby. I think they should just about get some workers in there. They're kind of close. Okay, what I'll do is do that and fill this with more houses. Yeah, people are like straight in there. You'll be right. 
I cannot deliver any ebony, I'm afraid. Beautiful. Sorry, look at these houses. Now we've got some linen. Fancy residence. Soon evolved to want a greater if it had more space. So yeah, from this, it needs more space to get bigger. Wow. Not seen those before. Do you fancy residences? I, uh, I don't think they've kicked... They, wouldn't have, they haven't kicked out loads of workers yet. So that's fine. That's noise. Elegant residence. Has access to gods only. Will not improve until residence can pay homage to other gods. A single I mean you should have access to that one wages fall that means I should attract more people because I'm actually offering to pay people more I can go away I don't have any ebony, guys, so, like, you can keep asking, but I'm not going to give. Fancy residence. Can't evolve because it needs local bazaar uh, dwelling with luxury goods. Uh, like jewelry. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that for this one. Oh, my. Oh, no, fire. Fire marshal, quick. Me carpenters. Guilds. Funny how the place uh, that deals with wood are all on fire. Why oh, it's not letting me get rid of those. Right. Bug. Oh, I can just build over the top. It's just phased out. It's so much money now. Strange seeing me without a beard now. You look like a typical bloke down the boozer. <laughs> Having this build so far. Yeah, it's it's done. Um, I'm really pleased with it. It's worked out pretty well. I like the, the staging of those two bits. Um, of these two, like, living areas. It's worked out quite nicely. Um, I think what I'm going to need to... It seems like my services are keeping up with this one. So, I'm... Going to make another row of housing down there. And then connect them in there. See if I can offshoot it like this without affecting too many of the others. I'll hopefully give me the workers I need to get to full efficiency. Yeah, I didn't affect it. Like to go a little bit of rebalancing. This to a magistrate, and there is a little bit of. You know what I can do though? I can slap in another magistrate here. Whatever they say they need, we can just add in more of them from here. Yeah, they had a quick upgrade, reshuffle, and they're now upgrading again. No, they've dropped down because of desirability because people are still moving into the mud huts next to them. This little sturdy hut here next to all these fancy residences. A 
182 additional workers needed. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, God. Wow. Look at all that linen. Uh, where is it? Three. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Let's, um, let's export some lemon. So it's a lemon. Let's export some linen. That shouldn't add a tidy. I mean, we don't need to worry about it right now, do we? Oh, I haven't put in my personal mansion yet. Haven't I? Have I? Oh, it's got to be on grass. Yeah, I always forget that. Must be able to touch grass. We're getting there. Requires additional 1,344 blocks of plain stone. Build me a pyramid worthy of the pharaohs. Then we need provisions, don't we? Oh. <laughs> Next layer. Uh, where is it? Political overseer? No. Oh, wait. It'll be the... Funny enough, it'll be the monument overseer, won't it? Linen and wig check. Wood check. We don't have any granite. Uh, pottery. Papyrus. We'll need a bit more. I mean, that we can... Assuming we can import granite. Yes. We'll do that right at the end then. Or oh, as we near close, we'll get the resources in place. Pretty sure we can kind of just sit back, relax, and leave it on five speed now. Unless something catastrophic happens, I think we're all good. What's what's wrong with you guys? You have no access to food. Okay, you need another, another bazaar would actually help out quite a bit, I feel. Oh, you know what would also help? Making the roads pretty. Everyone likes pretty roads. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Bast is upset. Sorted a moot. Let's have a grand festival. Oh, we don't have enough beer. Sad. Okay. Let's have a lavish festival. Look at my pyramid rise. Still need more workers. Gold mine caves in. Blessing from Ptah. From Ptah. These gold mines just aren't up to scratch, really, are they? It's not up to code. Yeah, I know we need more employees. We're getting there, though. We are getting there. Contaminated water. Okay. Ninety two needed. There we 
28 workers required. If those get filled up, and they'll be all right. We'll have a little knock-on effect for a little bit, but they should evolve very quickly. Sandstorms affecting trade. Seven additional workers required. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Unemployment at 0%. Perfectly balanced. Yes. My Carpenter's Guild got burnt down again. Yeah. I don't actually think we need that many of them, thankfully. Which is good. But clearly, we all need to have a bit more of a chat about fire safety here. I don't know if we need another work camp, but I'm just going to slap another one there anyway. Oh, got enough pots? Yes, yes, we do. Uh, this is the most money I've ever, <laughs> I've ever gained in a game. It's obviously running well, economy-wise. Getting a little bit of de-evolving down here because I've thrown in a few more bits and probably not enough services. Not enough entertainment. I don't know if I can really solve that one. Uh, I mean, is that like a booth there? Don't know how useful those are going to be, but might help a little bit. It'll get us done for this mission anyway. We needed 3,500 for this mission. So, we are nearly there. Thirty, sixty-two, ninety-four. Just got to get the monument done and obviously all the bits for it. Pottery, papyrus, linen and granite. We're at 48%, so yeah, I'll wait until we're a little bit close to get those set up. I think we've we've hit peak Pharaoh now. Cannot burn low collapse risk. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Um... Let's give that zero collapse risk, please. No collapse risk. There we go. Beard waggle in a bag. Four hundred eighty blocks required. Oh wow! Yeah, we've give us all the blocks. Give us all the blocks. I mean, they're working their asses off. We needed what, like one thousand odd at the start. They're still doing pretty well. Zero additional workers required. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, we've... Uh, I think we've we've got the economy down in the game now. I am the pharaoh. <laughs> Boom. Should hit 100k soon. I don't want to say at this point we need we need more stone. My stone will endure through the ages. 
but I think it's just I think it's more at the moment we've kind of got an even rate of they're putting stone up there as quickly as we're getting it to the storage yard so I, I don't think we're in a deficit it's never been completely empty they are working as hard as they can though I actually think the other work camp helped out a bit speed things up look at it go it's one of the, uh, one thing well yeah one of the really standout things about this game funnily enough is the is the building pyramids and monuments i just love how it all comes together have some plain stone So I'll pop that in there because then if these evolve, it means more people can come and live in some of these outer neighborhoods. And so the city sprawl begins. Yeah, we went, we went hard on the pomegranate. <laughs> so hard on the pomegranate. pomegranate. It, it's insane to think, actually, with the amount we've built up. How much have we got there? 3,200. We're not getting through that. All the granaries are full. You don't need more than, like, what if you filled all of that? How m massive of a city would you need to, I mean, if you could export it, oh my days. We know that exporting pomegranate, even if there's not much to be gained in it, is going to be, if you can do it in vast amounts, it's going to be profitable. Oh, yes. Right, next stage, 70%. Don't need 160 blocks now. Yeah, we're good. Right, I think we should start thinking about what we need for this. We need pottery, we need granite, papyrus, and linen. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, pottery. It's at 500, so yeah. Let's go up to 800 because we need, we need a certain amount of pottery to circulate our citizens as well linen as well wasn't it so let's do that double that to 800 papyrus up to a thousand i need a little bit more same with linen but that's fine wood we got plenty of it pottery will get it uh i should did i did i tweak pottery Then we need to import some granite. Import to maintain. 15. You know, we'll take 16 just so we've got one spare. And then I'm going to slap that all into this storage yard, which we'll accept. Granite. It'll also accept pottery. It'll also accept papyrus and also accept linen. Oh, there's the, the the granite. The granite's here. Only 15. Where's the 16th? I need the spare bit. <laughs> done, done, done. It's just pottery. But for that, we're going to need more clay, aren't we? So I think actually we just need to increase the amount of clay we're importing, to be fair. We're getting through it a lot. Oh, no. It's not like we don't have the money. How much have I managed to save up again in my personal savings. Oh, savings of 936. Beautiful. I'm going to do that thing where I'm going to quickly massively increase that for a few months. I think, as far as I'm understanding, it only lowers my kingdom rating. I don't think it causes any other substantial trouble, right? I'm just trying to, you know, put a little nest egg away. Nothing wrong with a little bit of corruption, right? Everybody does it, right? Oh, let's have a pharaoh salary. I mean, let's go for all out, surely. Just a little bit of corruption's okay, right?
And then you're just thinking, because you can use this money in any other future mission. So why not keep a, a nice little nest egg there for breaking case of emergencies? I'm sure, that, I'm sure the Pharaoh won't mind that I'm taking the same salary that he takes. How's he going to know? Nobody tell him, all right? I mean, I've made this lovely pyramid for for his friends. 16 blocks remaining. The step pyramid is done. Oh! Containing a total of... Whoa, third... 134,400 blocks of plain stone. Seriously? I thought it was only 13,000. That's a lot of blocks. The accession of Pharaoh... Oh, we need to deliver them all. I was going to say, mission complete! Victory! Mission was completed in 200 and 285 months. Damn. There we go. Victory! Well, that is where we'll end another episode. If you're watching this on YouTube, I hope you've enjoyed. Join us for the next mission. Um, we'll, we'll click next mission and see what it is going to be. Is it a multi-selector? It is. Um, we can only do one of them. So this is the Bedouin of the East. So it'll be a military focus mission. Kingdom rating of 80 required. Population of 2,000. No monuments. Oh, didn't mean to hit exit. Thankfully, it will have saved. And uh, medium is small step pyramid and a step pyramid complex. I mean... I think I'm going to go for this one. It's the Royal Necropolis. I think I'm going to go for this one because it's going to be way more fun building those monuments than it is dealing with the Bedouin, Can, especially considering how military has been changed in this game. So yeah, we'll do uh, the Royal Necropolis next stream. So uh, that'll likely be... Uh, Fair. We'll see if we can fit some in on Monday or Tuesday next week. Don't miss it. Until the next one, YouTube, take care. And ciao for now.